people heard in the video are not amused. You can hear several people shouting, this is the park service, get back on the boardwalk, and then gasping as the individual steps into the famous cone. Alright you guys, another beautiful day in Montana, here in Kalispell, just working our way up to Glacier. Uh, it's about time. Today's the day. I know I told you guys I'd wait till 3,000 subscribers, but I'm cutting my hair. Uh, it's driving me nuts once we're back on the road and uh, just need to look a little more presentable. So that's happening today. I'm going to miss it though. like it with the beanie. All right, so I guess they have about an hour wait, so I still got time to change my mind here, but I got to do it. So we're going to just hang out in the RV in the Lowe's parking lot. Just got some video up for you guys at the Starbucks over here, so we're getting caught up. Well, you guys, the deed is done. Oh, man, it's pretty short. Uh, big change, so I'm going to surprise Sinead. Oh, it's way colder without my hair. Oh, I shouldn't be wearing shorts anymore either. Hey. hey. <laughs> what do you think? You look great. Panda, do you even recognize him? Take it easy, Panda. It's still me. All right. Sorry, guys. I'll do something else for the 3,000 subscribers. I just can't wait anymore. Beet harvest coming up, everything. Uh, I really uh, need something a little more manageable. Woo, it's cold. You know, and there's a lot to be said about how you look, too. You know, I mean, I keep the RV clean. Might as well keep me looking clean. Some people call it profiling. Cops call it uh, good detective work. So, you know, just less of a reason to get harassed. I don't look like some grungy bum in my old RV, my mean old dog. So, all right. Wow, it is really getting cold out there. Go do some more stuff. Whitefish, Montana it was on the list. Been wanting to come for a while and finally got a chance. Here we are. Beautiful little town. So we're going to grab a little, grab a beer over here at Great Northern Brewery and then uh, walk Panda around before we uh, head to the camp for the night. So I'll check this out. This is pretty epic up here. Loving this uh, patio situation. Mm. Really good beers too. Oh yeah, cheers. Cheers guys. It's so nice to be back in Montana. Really missed it. It's funny, we uh, met a guy at Walmart last night. He, I thought he was hitting my rig when he was parking, so I ran over. and uh, Really nice, you know, meeting nomads at uh, you know, we connected, talked for a while, and just like-minded people. Being in the RV park all summer, and uh, 
don't know, it's just the people, it's different wavelengths, you know, like people on the road. You just see it, it, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but just nice being back, meeting people and uh, like minded people. Whitefish is just beautiful, so. Uh, cheers, guys. Happy to be back on the road and back to Montana. Keep trying to walk around, and it's just been intermittent rain, so we're calling it quits with trying to check out downtown, walk around a little bit. Pretty cool. Now it's blazing beautiful sun right when we get back to the rig, but there you have it, that's Montana weather. It's starting to get later in the day, so we're gonna start heading down to Columbia Falls and get a camp for the night. I would camp here besides the train noise. Uh, it would be a pretty chill spot. It's a nice quiet road. Um, you can see the signs all no parking. What's that? Yeah, no parking 2.30 to 6.30, so. That's basically a easy way of saying don't park here overnight. So, yeah, Whitefish is a little stingy with the free camping, guys. This is a big tourist town, and uh, a lot of uh, more wealthy people live in Whitefish, so it's pretty apparent they don't want us camping on their streets overnight. So we're gonna head to Columbia Falls and uh, camp at a grocery store, see what that's about. So let's get going down the road. Good boy. Right, here we are, Super One Foods in Columbia Falls. That's the grocery store right there. It's actually a pretty nice spot, you can check it out. Big dirt lot. And there's a cemetery across the road there. That'll work for me for one night. Um, probably gonna wrap it up with this. We're getting ready to go to Glacier tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna settle in, go to bed early, get up early, and uh, yeah, we'll be in Glacier National Park tomorrow morning. Hopefully do uh, hopefully do two nights there and get some really good hiking in and get to explore the park. Oh, being a... I know there are closures right now. I'm looking into that, so we're going to do a different route through it, but uh, or I guess not through it. You can't drive through it all the way. They shut down going to the Sun Road, um, basically all the western side of it, so... Anyway, it'll still be great. I love the eastern side of Glacier more anyway, so I'm really excited, guys. Figured might as well get the TV going. I haven't, uh, haven't used the antenna in a while. I actually lost my short run of coax. I don't know what happened to it, so I'm using my long one. It's Sunday, gotta see if cartoons are on, right? I know football's back on. Not really crazy huge on football, but I guess it's been a while. Nice to just have some background noise, drown out some of the traffic going by, so. Sweet. That's on there. This TV's been working really well. Um, I forget what it is. Uh, Supersonic. It's like a little over a hundred bucks. It's a, it's a bitch twisting the coax on. You see how they put this in? Ah. It's a hell of an angle, but I think I got that on tight enough. All right, boom, twist it on. Keep that sucker on. Let's see how she does. Yes, I know that puppy you saw last week was cute. But I beg your pardon. She does not know where that even began to describe what that puppy was. He was like Shirley Temple stuffed inside a teddy bear, stuffed inside that kid from Jerry Maguire. <sighs> we can't help. Leave the boardwalk and stand on the geyser. Ashley Lemansky captured the incident <sighs> off her cell phone and shared it to her Facebook page Saturday night. All Amansky captions the video as a rare occurrence at Old Faithful. The people heard in the video are not amused. You can hear several people shouting, this is the park service, get back on the boardwalk, and then gasping as the individual steps into the famous cone.